Hello, good evening. Okay, good evening. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I, I have to do a test. Eh, voy a hacer una prueba. Usted, ustedes me dicen cómo se escucha mejor. Eh, ahorita, testing, one, two. Or ahorita, testing, one, two. ¿Cómo se escuchaba mejor? ¿La primera vez o la segunda vez? Igual. 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 Ok, ok, está bien. Ok, perfecto. Es que estos audífonos son ya un poco viejos. Quiero, solo quiero probarlos. Tengo el rato de no probarlos. Ok, very good. Ready? Are we ready? Yes. Ok. So how, how, let's do one exercise today about the, the past, I'm sorry, the, the present perfect. And then we're going to do the next lesson in section four, which is adverbs sequency. And then we finish section four for today, okay? So let's do an exercise on the present, present uh, perfect. Okay, but before I do the present perfect, let me let me just get my notes. Okay. Present perfect structure. Uh, did everybody see the list of past participles that I sent you? The list of past participle verbs, okay? So, en realidad, si ustedes buscan en Google, van a encontrar muchas, okay? Something that you have to do here is try to increase your knowledge of the past, the past participles, okay? How can I do that? ¿Cómo me lo voy a memorizar todos? Eh, no. Ni, yo creo que ni yo mismo me los puedo todos, ¿ok? No es de memorizar, sino de usar. Eh, lo bueno es que los simple past, los regulares, ¿sí? son igual, simplemente le ponemos ed. Now, the ones that you have to be careful with, the ones that change are, como dice aquí esta tabla, Irregular verbs. Irregular verbs. Those are the ones that you have to be careful. Okay. For example, for, for example, break, broke, broken. Okay. You have to be careful with this one because it's irregular verbs. Lo bueno es que lo, los únicos que van a cambiar son los irregular verbs. Regular verbs, aunque sea past, past participle, regular verbs, ed, ed. For example, played, listened, 
what okay is the same all right let me let me see i have a, a an activity that yesterday we didn't finish la quería hacer pero no terminamos uh, we did have you ever yesterday the list okay but I have another one that we can do today. So we're going to do it together. Okay. Remember, complete the sentence with has or have. I use has, he, she, it. I use has. Have, I use for you, we, they, regular plus the past participle, okay? Now, no me los puedo todos, y son, es bastante largo este ejercicio, okay? So, practiquemos hasta como las ocho y media. Okay, this is how what you have to do. You have to complete the sentence, okay? En algunos casos vamos a ir a, o tal vez ustedes me pueden ayudar buscando el past participle, en algunos casos, okay? Then I have to put a number. For example, number one, it says, I have forgotten to put on my trousers. What is trousers? Pants. And now I feel so embarrassed. Okay. So we have to look for that picture. Donde esta, donde esta? Picture, picture. Let me see. Tengo que quitar yo esto para poder verlo. Okay. I have forgot to put my trousers. Será que la, la una no está porque me, eh, ya, ya, ya la pusieron ahí. Yo creo que no está porque ya la pusieron ahí. Yeah, I think it's not there. Okay, let's do number two. Number two. I am in so much pain. I blank myself really bad this time. I have to use what? The same have, verb. Have? The same? Or do you have to change it? The same. No, no puedo dejarlo así. Hurt. No. I have to change it to past. But the past participle is the same. Is Aha, uh -huh, it's the same, solo que I have to put an ED. I have to put ED. Or it's the same. Ya revisaron? Yes, Perfect. it's the Perfect. same. And th this is regular verb or irregular verb? It's irregular. I irregular verb. Ah, okay, see? I have hurt myself really bad this time. Let's see. Where can we find that one, number two? Where do you think? Number two? Ah, aquí está número uno. Ya, ya, ya nos dieron número uno. Number two, I think is this one. What do you think? Yes? Number two? Yes. Yes. Okay, when you hit yourself with the hammer. Okay. She have or has? Has. has do. Does. Did. Done. 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 Very good. Done. She has done all the laundry and now and can now watch TV. Let's see. Who's that? Maybe this one. Mm, let's see. Ah, right here. Number three. Very good. Number four. I feel so agitated. I have drunk. 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 Too much coffee. Number four. Right here, right? Number four, yep. Yeah. Number five, what, who, blank, me, this horrible email. 
I'm so mad right now. This is has a WH question, but the structure is the same. Who has have sent? Have sent. 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 S E N T. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Who has? Now, whenever we use have sent. Who, who have sent or yes. has sent? I think is has. Uh, I don't have a subject here, okay? But the subject is here. And I think it's third person, I think, okay? Puedo estar equivocado, pero ya vamos a ver. I think is has, okay? Number five. Let's look for number five. Ah, right here, right? Yes? Who has sent me this email? Number six. It seems he... Lots. Lots. Uh-huh. But Lots. Ha I have to use the auxiliary verb first. Uh, he, he has... Lost. Lost? Yes? Mm, yes. 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 Okay. Is that the past participle? I think so, right? Okay, very good. Number ah, number six. It seems he has lost his luggage and now has nothing to wear. Hmm. Ah, right here. Yes, he yes. lost his luggage, yes. maybe at the airport. Number seven. I blank eat too much and now i don't feel well what do you think i have eight. i have, have eight no eight. What is i the have eaten eaten, eaten. 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 <laughs> that is the passport past participle right yeah uh, what is the past participle? Yes. Eat is the present, right? And the simple past? Eight. Eight. Como el número ocho. Solo que no se escribe así, ¿verdad? Eight. And then, eaten, past participle. Uh, number eight. Ah, no, we have to look for number seven. I have eaten too much, and now I don't feel well. What do you think? This guy? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Number eight. I oh, know it's, yeah, number eight. Seven. No, seven, seven. Number seven. Number eight. Come on. Once you blank your medicine, you will feel much better. Have taken. Huh? Have taken. taken. Once you have. Have taken past participle, right? Take, took, taken. You will feel much better once you take your medicine. Number eight. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, she's talking to the child, right? Right here. Okay. Very good. Number nine, let's say, Stephanie, can you do number nine? Jesus, she have um, the bear. I don't know the bear. Okay, let's see. Alguien lo tiene de la lista? Past participle of gain. Uh, gain with E D. Think so? Let me see. Let, let's go to the list that I sent you, right? Let's go to the list that that I had here. Tal vez está aquí. Tal vez lo encontramos aquí. No está? Is regular. Gain is a regular. I search. Yes, we did.
he gained. Ah, see, look, past tense, past participle, aquí está. Gain and the same. So this is this is a regular verb, right? Okay. So uh, do we use have or has? Has. Has. Very good. Jesus, she has gained some weight. She really needs to go on a diet. Let's see. This one, right? I think it's this one, number nine. Okay, number 10. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sara, number 10. Number 10. Well, I has read all the news now to go sleep, please. Okay. Is this correct? Has or have? have. No, have. Have. no have. 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 Sí. Has is only with he, she, or it. ¿Cuál es el sujeto aquí? I. So we use have. Uh, read is the same. Read yes, is the same, same for all the verbs. Read, read, read. The only thing here, there's a different pronunciation, okay? Why, I don't know. Read, 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 read. I read that book already. You have to read this book, it's really good. I read that book already. So it's the same. Number 10, let's look for number 10. Uh, is it this one? No. No. Where do you think it's number 10? It says, well, I have read all the news. Now, go to sleep, please. Uh -huh. Ah, right here. Maybe this one, right? Yep. She's reading to the person, and then she's telling them go to sleep. Okay, number number eleven. Uh, Michelle, eleven. My wife has to spend my wife of money on Oslo. As, no, right here we don't. We're not going to use infinitive, aunque sí podría usar infinitive, but we have to use the structure right now. My wife has spent. What is the past participle? Spend. Spent. Spent. Very good. Eleven. My wife has spent a lot of money on useless things, and now I have to carry everything home. Number eleven. Right here, right? Very good. Okay, number 12. Let's see, who else we have here? Uh, Vanessa, number 12. Okay. You leave me? Aha. Uh -huh. Está con nosotros? Yeah. Okay, podría ser number 12. Can you do number 12? Yeah. I see that I have bought way too much. I didn't notice this was an, an express line. Okay. What is the past of buy? Oh. Both. No sé si está aquí. Ah, si está aquí está. Buy, bought, and bought is the same. Okay, very good. So, uh, I see that I have bought way too much. I didn't notice this was an express line. Right here, right? E express line is only that you can only have 10 items or less or nine items or less. Okay, so this is number 12. Number 13, Eric. 
Okay. I am so tired now, but I have cleaned the entire house. Clean, this is a regular verb, right? <laughs> so cleaned, okay? Clean the entire house. Number 13, here, right? Number 13. Okay, 14, eh, Carla, 14. Um, someone have, sorry, someone have breaking, broke uh -huh. my laptop, my, this base of flowers. Okay, uh, right here, the verb broke. Okay. Broken. Break, broke, broken. And here, Carla, because we're talking about third person. Third someone person. Has. Yeah. Correct. Number 14, someone has broken this vase of flour. The floor is all wet. 14, ah, right here. Yes. Number 15, Raul. Okay, the police officers cut, cut the thief. He will be arrested now. The police officer, speaking about uh -huh. one, one person, has cut. A catch. Caught. Cut. Let's see. Some of caught. Aha, solo que no está aquí. But it's a G. Is this correct? Uh, no. C, uh, eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Where is that? Number 12, uh, 15. Right here. Okay, very good. Number 16. Uh, let's see who else. After Raul, we have Michelle. 16. Stolen. Someone, third person. Stolen my laptop now. Stolen, right? Someone has stolen my laptop. Now I need to buy a new one. Hmm, where is that? Mm -hmm. Ah, aquí está, the laptop. Este es un laptop, lo que tiene en la mano. Ah, okay. Very good. Number 17, um, Andrea, number 17. I thought. I have or has. Andrea. Okay. Si se pueden poner en mute, por favor, si no están hablando para reducir el sonido. Por favor. Gracias. No, todavía no. Gracias, ahora sí. Ok, very good. Uh, uh, Andrea, no sé si está allí. Ok, next. Kenya, number 17. I have... Um, let me see. I think it's the same. Let's check, see if, it, if it's, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's the same. Their list. Perdón, me pasé. It's the same, right? Put, put, uh -huh. put. Put. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's see. Number 18. Stephanie. I, Stephanie, I have won my one. first one. Mm -hmm. My first competition. Mm -hmm. I feel so excited. Ah, okay, very good. Good job. 
Let me see. ¿Vieron la lista que les puse ahora en la, en la mañana? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, ahí también están algunos. Eh, 19. Me. Eh, Sara. 19. Eh, mute, mute. You're, you're in mute. Sorry. My boyfriend has gotten me a letter I saw in love with him. Okay. What is the correct pronunciation? Uh, write, right, written. 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 written, write, write, wrote, written. Written. written, written. So it has two T's. Written. Okay. And that's number 19. Don't understand? 19. Hey. Ah, right here. 19. Hey, what happened? No faltan una. Dos, tres, eh, nos faltan varias. I don't know. Okay, let's continue. I blank my exam with excellence. My parents will be very proud. I have passed. This is a regular verb, right? Okay, let me see. Eh, una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Let's count in English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. No, there's twenty. So we we have a mistake in one. The eighteen of is next to the nineteen. Okay. Eighteen is, is next. Harry. I have won. Next. My first competition. Next, next, next to the one. 18. 20 is next to one. Ah, right here. 18, right? Yes. And then we need 20. I have passed the exam. Next 20. To one. What happened with this one? I'm so tired, but I have cleaned my entire house. 13. 13. 13? I'm so tired now, but I have cleaned my entire house. Uh, 13. It's not, no es esta? Porque esta, I think this is clean. Uh, uh, this one. I ate too much. I have eaten too much. Uh huh. It's the number seventeen. I have put too much 17. stuff in there. Ah, very it's good. 17. That's seventeen. Okay. In this one, I I made a mistake here. What is this one? I have eaten. Number seven. Okay, very good. Let's check. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay. Very good. So let's let me take the attendance right now. Okay. I need to take attendance. Give me a second. Asistencia, todos están, sí. Okay, very good. Okay, we have a intermedium. Eight to nine p.m. Uh, module one and today is july 15. very good okay let's go to the next the next lesson that i have for you uh, let's go to inglés corporativo alguien ya vio la, la siguiente lección and section number four 
Did you see the next lesson after that? The next lesson is uh, here. We were looking at simple past and present perfect. Okay. Uh, no. No me quedé mucho en simple past porque yo sé que ya lo, ya lo han visto anteriormente. Um, sequence of adverbs. So the next lesson here is sweet sequence of adverbs. Let's watch the video. Por si no lo han visto. And then we're going to do uh, an activity. So let me share my computer with you. Let's watch the video. Esta sería 4.5. 4.4. They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use in sequence adverbs, for example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case, we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top, we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one, first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explain, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word. Right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. 
then toast the slices of bread, then spread the mixture on the toast, then put the sandwich in a pan with butter, then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you Okay, very good. Basically, what he's telling you here is to use these words when you're giving instructions or when you're telling someone how to do something, okay? Um, and he says here, the first one that you're going to use is obviously first. The last one, la ultima, finally. So you're going to start with first and you're going to finish with finally. Then next, after that, hay otras, hay varias. Also, besides, furthermore. Okay, you, there are those you can put in the middle. Okay, so what we're going to do today is an activity. Okay, that that they that they make you do this activity, or they make you explain this when you're applying for a job. Okay, eh, yo he dado cursos de call center. Okay, y una pregunta que hacen es how do you make a sandwich? En una entrevista de trabajo. They ask you. Okay. Así que te tiran una curva. A crazy question. Okay. Esto lo ha hecho Sykes. Yo he estado allí. Telos lo ha hecho. Otras empresas. Call centers lo han hecho. How do you make a sandwich? Y la persona se frizó. Se quedó. Totalmente congelado. Eh, basically, do you remember that I told you that we were speaking about uh, thought organization? Okay. Les dije que una de las, de las cosas que tenemos que trabajar es thought organization. Right? Eh, I want to have fluency. ¿Se acuerdan el cuadrito que siempre les he mostrado? You want to have fluency. Right? But you need to have grammar. You need to have vocabulary, okay? But today, you're going to have thought organization, okay? So today, we're going to practice thought organization. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? By organizing our instructions. We're going to use sequence adverbs, okay? So the question that I want to make you, right? Es una, una pregunta de entrevistas que la gente se queda como congelada. Like, eh, me preguntaron cómo hacer un sándwich en una entrevista. Uh, yes, because they're testing. They're testing your thought organization. They're testing your, your, your fluency. How do you make a sandwich? Okay. So, eso es lo que queremos hacer. Give instructions. How do you make a sandwich? Uh, for example, if you look here in this section, uh, aquí están haciendo como un pancakes, creo, ¿eh? How do you make pancakes? Uh, let's change it. Let's talk about how do you make a sandwich, okay? And let's say we have 25 minutes to do this activity. So let's go to groups and we're going to use the vocabulary here. Uh, Okay, antes que me vaya de esta página, solo la quiero copiar. I want to copy this page so that I can send it to you. Okay, le voy a mandar esta página. Eh, no sé por qué me la copió dos veces, pero bueno, ni modo. All right, let's go to groups. And what you're going to do is explain to the person, okay? So the only words that you need to practice, the only words is first, then, 
next, after that, finally. So, esa se la voy a pasar. But you're going to explain how do you make a sandwich. Let's go to groups of two. Uh, Vanessa, can you go? Okay, very good. First, um, I buy the brick. Then, um, no, first buy bread, uh, jamón. Ham. Como se dice lechuga, esa palabra me cuesta. Lero. Leros. Mm -hmm. Leros and onions, chicken, and how do you say mostaza? Mustard. Mustard. And then um, put in the pan uh, chicken, uh, spicy. Tomato, onion, and quiero ver. Luego, next, este. No, este no, eso es español. No Spanish. No Spanish. Eh, next, eh, how do you say coser todo? Cook. Cook everything. Cook everything. Cook everything. And uh, finally, mm -hmm. put all the ingredients in the um, bread. Very good. Okay. Hay que trabajar en el vocabulario, right? Es lo que más so, me cuesta. So that you're not, ¿cómo se dice? Right? So that, so that you can finish the, the, the sentence, right? So, tener buena gramática. Thought organization is good, but vocabulary. You need to work on vocabulary. Para tener fluency. Okay? All right, very good. Eric? Eric. Yes. How do you make a sandwich? First, I get to, to a slice of bread. Next, uh, put a mayonnaise. Uh -huh. After that, Put lettuce, tomato, ham, uh -huh. and finally put the other piece, the other piece of bread together. Okay. Okay. I made an easy sandwich. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. I have another question. Uh, it was, you know. Uh huh. You know, Without I chicken, was, Eric. Was, no, use ham. Uh, uh, you know, uh, when I was working in a in a restaurant in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. We were making like guacamole chips in front of the guests. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was really nice because you had to do all of those things, like you said. But like uh -huh. first, you had to prepare your tray with the uh, avocados, tomato, onion, all this, uh, uh -huh. all the, the, the species. Uh, uh -huh. After that, you had to go in front of the table and start uh -huh. preparing the guacamole for them. Uh -huh. And Ask them how do they want it, the guacamole, how mm -hmm. spicy they want it, and and the and finally, you had to you clean the the mocajete they call it in in, in Mexico, uh -huh. and serving to the table with the chips. It was really good. It was really nice experience. Okay. I was making a lot of those when I was so working there. You have to you had to explain that to the guests. 
Uh, normally, yeah, because uh -huh. you you have to go in, inside to the kitchen and prepare in a tray everything. Mm -hmm. Do the knocking, put the uh, the uh, uh, say the container where you make the guacamole and uh -huh. all the the ingredients. The mocajete, they call it, the mocajete, all mm -hmm. the ingredients, and you have to go in front of the table and mm -hmm. ask the guests how do they want it, the guacamole. Mm -hmm. If they want it spicy, they want a mild, they want a, like, a medium, whatever mm -hmm. they want it. And after you, you mix it, everything with the, with the avocados. Nice, nice. I know, it was, it was a really good experience. It's okay. In a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant, I was working there. Okay, let's talk about food more. Uh, okay. How do you make pancakes? How do you make pupusas? Okay, well, explain to me. So I can continue. You can continue practicing this. Now, okay. How do just a tip. We are speaking in the present. Uh -huh. Right. First, take the bread and put it in the toaster. Ahí está en el presente. Okay, so everything is going to be in the present. Okay, very okay. good. Continue. Uh, and then hello hello okay i have another question i put it in whatsapp there but le let me tell you now how do you make pancakes? How do you make pupusas? Okay, explain, explain to me. Um, well, pancakes first, we add the, uh, how do you say harina? Um, flour. The flour on a bowl. Mm -hmm. Then we add milk. Okay. After that, we move the the or with the milk, and finally we make the pancakes in a casserole. And. <laughs> Pen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Uh, Vanessa, how do you make pancakes? I don't know. First, um, mix the flour mm -hmm. with egg and milk. Uh -huh. And then put a little bit of butter. Uh-huh. Um, after that, or maybe next, it is next. Yeah. Okay. Next, put the um, butter in the how do you say sartén? Pan. 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 Uh -huh. After that, you put the mix in the pan. And finally, um, eat. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, I ha I put another question there. How do you make pupusas? You take um, corn. It's corn dog, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, then you put a. Uh, Beans or cheese. Uh, next, you. Uh, how do you say? What? Uh -huh. what? <laughs> no, no, I can't hear you. Can you repeat? How do you say? Tortear. Tortear. Ah, tortear. <laughs> uh, you can say oh, just no. make. I said, I'm just saying make. Make a pupusa. After that, you put in the tomato. And uh, 
finally. Mm -hmm. You Finally. Sorry, my microphone is. Okay. All right, very good, Michelle. You're gonna go, you're next, okay? How do you make okay. pancakes? How do you make pupusas? Okay. Um, Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Another question. I don't know if you saw it there in WhatsApp. How do you make pancakes? How do you make pupusas? Estamos haciendo pancakes. Oh, okay. Okay. Go, continue. How do you say batir? Uh, you can say mix. Mix. Yeah. Mix or mix it? Estamos hablando en el presente porque. Después, porque queremos decir primero agrego leche a la. First, I add milk. I add milk to the mixture, a uh -huh. la mezcla, uh -huh. y then yo como que lo mezclo todo, lo bato todo, no sé. It's the same word, mix, puedes estar hablando del, 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 del producto, o mix, action, verb, it's the same. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Then mix. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hi. Yes. Then mix it on. Hello? Um, ¿Quién estaba hablando? Perdón. Stephanie. Ah, oh, Stephanie. Okay. Uh, you're doing pancakes, right? Yes. First? Add milk to the mixture. Mm -hmm. Then mix it all. Okay. Um, after or oh, no. Next. Mm -hmm. La orden no importa. Allí pueden no, usar. Um, after. Mm -hmm. I put margarina. How do you say margarina? Butter. I don't know. Butter. Ah, <laughs> oh, butter. <laughs> In casserole? In the pan. In the pan. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just a trial and view. Okay, okay. I mean, oh. si todavía quieres usar otro paso, puedes repetir una que ya usaste, por ejemplo, then or next. Okay. 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 Next, I have the pan. No terminaste. ¿Qué pasó? Andrea puso su idea en el ah. chat. Ajá, pero. Estamos que... poniendo en el chat. Ah, no. Speaking, speaking. Speaking, uh, you could, you could. I put the mix in the in the pan, uh -huh. and I wait for se <laughs> for for it to cook. For, for it, it to cook. Mm -hmm. Later, I. Girar, dar vuelta. Can you say turn it around? I mean, I, it's probably not okay, but uh, yeah, you can you can say turn it around or flip it. Oh, okay. Flip, flip it. it. After I flip it, the pancake, mm -hmm. and finally I serve the pancake in the. Yeah, I, I need it. 
<laughs> <laughs> and eat it. Okay. Good, good, good job. See, you can do it. You can do it. All right. Hey, what about pupusas? One more. Pupusas. Let's see. Um, ¿Qué es lo primero que hace uno con el pupusas? Let's say, Yo digamos nunca... que, que estás usando más seca. Right? Right? Okay. For example. Uh, first, first part. Uh, dilo, dilo, dilo. Okay. First of all, um, mm -hmm. get the. I don't know how you say masa. So uh, I'll just say just mixture. The, yeah, mix the maseca. <laughs> say maseca. Okay. First of all, get the maseca ready. Uh -huh. Just you just add some water in it, uh -huh. and no tiene lógica decirlo en inglés cuando amasar la masa, pero so. Um, yeah, then, no, no hay un término, así no, no, no he visto un término. <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> then you um, you try to make like um, a tortilla on your hand, kind of mm -hmm. a circle. Mm -hmm. Then then you take the ingredients you're gonna put in, like cheese, uh, beans, mm -hmm. or chicharrón. <laughs> and or no, no. then you... no, eh, no, chicharrón <laughs> is pork, pork, pork. Tal cual, mm -hmm. cerdo. No sé, okay. Mm -hmm. yes, um, then you next you make uh, you close it. You make like a a little ball on your hand. Mm -hmm. And then you start palming it mm -hmm. till until it's um it's like a whole circle, okay. and then you and then you throw it on on the on the comal or plancha, you can say pan. <laughs> right, you can pan. pan. Uh huh. And you wait. Okay. Um, you're gonna know it's ready when. It doesn't um, get stick on the on the pan, and uh -huh. and it's not actually like purely white. Okay. And then you you flip it, mm -hmm. and you wait for it to cook. Good, nice, nice. Uh, see, you can make you can make a YouTube video. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> All right, excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, we're gonna go back now. We have only have two minutes left. So let's go back to the meeting. Okay, very good. Welcome back. So, uh, did did some people use, for example, the um, how to make pupusas? Did you make the example? Yes. Okay. Very good. This is a, a very common. Uh, this is a very common lesson. Uh, yo he enseñado esto. Y yo he hecho que las personas manden un video o graben en grupos de trabajo un video y después lo pasamos para toda la clase, para que toda la clase lo vea. Entonces, ustedes simplemente están aquí practicando, pero si estuvieran en un salón, en cualquier academia, entonces grabarían un video. Así como en YouTube, que hay esos videos, cómo hacer pupusas, cómo hacer paella, cómo hacer... 
eh, bueno, lo que sea, arepas. Hay muchos videos así. Entonces, you, you will use adverb sequence. ¿Cómo se llama esto? Adverb sequence. Okay? I say eh, linking words. Yo le llamo linking words. Okay? But basically, they're organizing my ideas. Okay? So, um, for example, ahora hablamos de cocina. Y, y muchas pe personas necesitaban el vocabulario. ¿Cómo se dice cacerola? ¿Cómo se dice margarina? Mantequilla. So, try to practice, right? For example, si le gusta la cocina, ¿verdad? Creo que a todos nos gusta comer. So, look for videos in YouTube, right? Look for videos in YouTube so that you can learn more vocabulary, right? Maybe watch a video or read a magazine or read an article, right? Eh, busquen contenido de, de las materias que les gusta. Así van a aprender más vocabulario. All right, very good. I'll see you uh, tomorrow then, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. You can finish section four, and if you want, you can start working on section number five. Okay? All right. Okay. Good job. Have a Bye. good evening. Have a good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right. Bye-bye.